in the 1800s, driven by innovation in machinery, Manchester grew from a small market town to a booming city. The Industrial Revolution was transforming our world. But what was it like to work in the cotton mills where it all began? Find out in the Textiles Gallery. Hot, humid and deafeningly noisy, the carding room was where rolls or laps of cotton were cleaned and sorted at the start of their journey to become cloth. Carding machines, a series of drums with hooks on the inside and the outside, separated long fibres from short. While the short, fluffy fibres were caught by small hooks on the outside, the heavier, longer strands of cotton stuck to bigger hooks on the inside, where they were gathered together to make strips called sliver. A good, strong lad of 12 might be given the responsibility for carrying the can, moving the slivers to the roaring speed frames where they would be shrunk down, ready for spinning into thread. He had to move fast, though. Carrying the can controlled how much cotton the machines could process in a day, and the more cotton you made, the more money you earned. Younger children fixed broken strands, cleaned and swept, all while dodging the fast-moving flyers. It was dangerous and tiring work, especially if you were only five years old. The men may have been in charge of the carding rooms, but in the weaving sheds, it was women who were the skilled workers. Can you imagine the thunderous clatter of hundreds of machines like this one, all under one roof? By 1850, there were over three quarters of a million looms across Lancashire, weaving cotton to supply the world with cloth. People had to work quickly and carefully for up to 12 hours a day, six days a week. Can you imagine being one of them? 